Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Print Chronicles. We're coming back at you with a Christmas edition of another Ratchet video. Okay, uh, for you guys out there, have a Merry Christmas and I hope you had a happy and safe one, which is, uh, you know, safety is always paramount. So today we're coming back at you with this uh, Astro. Ratchet and Astros, I've only seen them on Amazon and they seem to be a brand of kind of specialty ratchets, I guess, or some might say gimmicky ratchets, but I think uh, they do have a purpose, some of these ratchets. Uh, I did do a review on uh, a few months ago, I think, on another Astro ratchet, this one here. This is the Astro Astro 3 8 drive head in a quarter inch ratchet body. So you guys want to go back and look at this video. It's basically they took a 3 8 and put it in uh, the size, the 3 8 drive and put it on a one quarter, quarter inch size uh, style ratchet, which... Uh, they did but it's really the same just not to go off too much on it um it's usually it's about the same length as a 3 8 ratchet i think just the head here is uh maybe more of a one quarter inch ratchet size this one here is a quarter inch nano ratchet long so they took actually they took a ratchet that's really small for even a quarter inch head here and they put it on this long body okay uh it, this model is the 91410 and it's made in taiwan not much they don't write too much on these uh to open this up you clip the little clips there it says cut and then you're able to slide this up like that and this comes off okay here's a look it is pretty tiny this head it's this is smaller than your average uh, quarter inch head ratchet so but it's paired to this long shaft here and uh, let me just measure it to give you some idea this is nine and three quarters so from top to bottom it measures nine inches and three quarters so almost ten inches on this ratchet and it has a switch here I think these are 72 teeth so kind of in that uh, 70 range of ratchets and to open this up it has uh, kind of an annoying ring there it doesn't really have any holes or anything to um, use a a snap ring plier what you need is a really thin small screwdriver and you kind of wedge it into the side here put your finger here because you want to hold it down because this has a tendency once you open it up and it almost comes off it has a tendency to want to fly out it wants to fly off so just try to wedge it in the side there and then get underneath and pry it up like that but like i said keep your finger there because it wants to pop out and that's what that looks like just a little thin ring and if it pops out and it gets lost uh then you're gonna curse me out so uh, remember to try to secure it and here is uh the plate uh, i don't think i've opened this one before it's well lubed inside here is the plate that holds it. 
kind of interesting, kind of complicated, it seems. Uh, has the, the cutout on the sides here for the ring and the inlets here for the ring. Has a six on it. Looks kind of like a cast piece. Okay, uh, I usually on these I, I hold the paws down a little bit when I get these out because the paws could be squirrely too. They might want to pop out. Here is the gear. It's tiny. It's 70, like I said, it's about 72 teeth there. Really small teeth. Let's see uh, the profile of the teeth, how small they are. It's a really small uh, gear and it's quick release so it has that pin type of quick release there's the ball detent looks pretty good and here is the tiny paw This is what the paw looks like. Uh, this is the front, usually with letters or numbers on it. Quarter, four quarter inch, I guess. And the teeth look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's like something like twelve teeth on this paw. plunger there on top it's, it's small hollow has a little tiny spring inside of it and it feels like there's another plunger underneath uh, the switch let me see I might have to if I switch it all the way around like this kind of halfway oh wait a second I see I just realized something Here's a plate, and this plate uh, kind of wedges in the front there and in front of the switch to keep it in place. And now, let me see if I can just push it forward. Yeah, just push it forward, but keep something in place there because there's a plunger underneath there and it wants to like plungers like to do they like to pop out so here is the switch and underneath it has like kind of what the bat wings have underneath of them that little point there that uh keeps uh, the switch in place from left to right on top here has the hole for the plunger and here's the cutout you can see it there in profile that cutout that's for the security plate that sits in there and keeps it from moving forward and last but not least is there's a plunger in there kind of in a weird spot uh, this is what that looks like a small plunger with a spring in it and here's a look inside everything looks pretty good in there the broaching looks good clean uh, no problems there uh, if we look 
a little bit deeper we can see the light you see the hole can you see the hole if you look here yeah, right there you can see the hole for that plunger that's at the bottom of the switch there and to get it all back together it's kind of a long on the plunger on the bottom they have kind of a long uh, a long spring there hopefully it won't give me a lot of problems let's see that's not too bad and you take your switch and you put it in but you can't mash it in until you press down that plunger that's underneath of underneath it like that you might want to cock the switch to one side or the other uh, that way uh, it has a little bit more room to go in when you push it in now you get this piece here which is kind of that stop it has zero zero nine two on it for some reason on the back it has two nine zero backwards so you know which side to put in I don't think it would matter but I like putting things in the way they came out so just lay that there on in that cutout now you take your your switch plunger which has a much smaller spring than the bottom plunger and you put that on top of the switch like that now you take your pole remember with the quarter facing out you probably could put this in either way but like I said I like putting things in the way they came out so like this and now you take your gear and try to maneuver that in and this is what it looks like when it's ratcheting and now you take your plate remember with the groove sticking out and the number on the inside put that in there and now you take your ring and remember to kind of keep it hold held down somehow and you start it on one side and you keep pushing it and mashing it in to get all the way to the other side see how it is it's secure give it a switch and there you go so yeah, that's the Astro Ratchet, the quarter inch nano long, the 10 inch version of a mini ratchet. I guess this has its place in some applications. You know, you might need a small ratchet to get to a, a hard to get to place. And you might need something this long and this small to uh, break a hard to reach or crazy to reach bolt somewhere so it's not too bad I think I didn't pay much for this I paid maybe 15 bucks for this on eBay someone had a brand new one on eBay I think they go for I don't know they go for less than 20 on Amazon so yep 
not too bad seems decent quality you might not be able to use this every day but when you do need something hey you do need it and you're glad you have it okay guys until next time